Hello viewer, quick flick recap here. Today we'll recap a 2018 Russian sport comedy film called I Am Losing Weight. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. The movie begins in the city of Nizhny Novgorod, Russia. Anna is a girl in her 20s living with her bodybuilder and swimming coach boyfriend, Yevgeny. She works in a bakery and hence is always working with food. When the couple first met, she was a size zero, but over the months, she has gained a considerable amount of weight. One day, they are called to a friend's wedding. Anna tries on clothes from a few months ago and realizes that they do not fit anymore. She consoles herself by saying that no one will notice, but the change in her body is significant. Yevgeny knows this too, but he doesn't want to comment on how much weight she has gained, knowing that it is a sensitive topic for her. After trying on a few clothes and ripping some in the process, Anna finds a decent one and gets ready. When Yevgeny gets a look at her in the dress, his face drops in shock. She is no longer the girl he was in a relationship with. He doesn't want to be seen with her at the wedding because all his friends from the fitness industry will be there. He gives her subtle hints, hoping that she will stay home. To his relief, Anna says that she wants to stay home and order pizza. She urges him to stay with her, but Yevgeny promises to congratulate the newlyweds and return home in an instant. Before leaving, he picks her up and puts her on the counter but dodges when she tries to kiss him. Anna notices the gesture but hides the fact that she is hurt. After he leaves, she changes into comfortable clothes and weighs herself to find out she is 76 kilos. Although she is always complaining about gaining weight, her only resolution is to drink a glass of water after saying her daily affirmations. Even now, she cooks some fried food and scrolls through the internet while waiting for her boyfriend. While she is on the phone, she notices pictures of Yevgeny and his friends at the wedding. She zooms into a group picture and is troubled to see that the girls Yevgeny hangs out with her skinny and fit. She cannot help but compare herself to them. Then, she comes across a picture of Yevgeny and a girl. On checking her profile, she is horrified to see a boomerang of the girl kissing him on the cheek. The video is enough for Anna to get dressed, put on some makeup, and rush to the wedding. She calls her best friend Natasha to pick her up. Natasha also notices that she has gained weight, but to her, Anna still looks just as beautiful. She holds her face, telling her to be confident about her body. When Anna reaches the venue, she sees Yevgeny dancing with the girl and getting a bit too close. Jealousy makes the best of her, and she gets in between them. Yevgeny is visibly surprised, but he continues dancing as the other girl scoffs and walks away. A while later, the couple takes a seat, and Anna starts eating. She asks him why he was dancing with a girl, but Yevgeny tries to pass it off by saying they were dancing in a group. When Anna pushes him, he lashes out and admits that he doesn't like her anymore. He adds that she does nothing but eat and has turned into a burden for him. Anna gets teary, but before they can talk, the newlywed couple approaches them. They try to smile, but it vanishes when the bride asks Anna if she is pregnant. Following that, Yevgeny wishes her farewell and walks away. In the next scene, Anna is on a bus on her way to her mother's house. She is crying uncontrollably, not caring what people think of her. She walks into her mother talking to a date. He notices something is off and walks outside to give them privacy. Anna tells her mother that her boyfriend broke up with her because of her weight. Her mother comments that she is not fat, she just has wide bones that she cannot control. The remark makes her feel a lot worse than she already did. At night, she sleeps on her mother's couch while going through Yevgeny's pictures on her phone. She also comes across a picture of herself from a few months ago. She zooms into her body and is saddened to see how much she has changed. The next morning, she gets a call from Natasha who asks her to come over. Anna takes a bed on Natasha's balcony and stays there complaining about the breakup. It turns out that Yevgeny had come there last evening to drop off all her belongings. Natasha asks her to stay with her and her husband Demis for a few days until she finds her own place. She tries to comfort her friend, but Anna doesn't want to feel better. She only wants to cry and complain about her lousy ex-boyfriend, who she wants to get back together with. Even Demis tries to make her feel better, claiming that she is the sexiest girl in the town but it does nothing to help Anna. She spends the night on the balcony and is approached by Natasha the next morning. Natasha tells her the story about a friend who was in the same position as Anna. Her boyfriend broke up with her over text because she had gained weight. Instead of bitching and moaning like Anna, the girl went to the gym and got slim in only a month. The poor boyfriend regretted his decision so much that he filled her office with flowers to ask her to get back with him. When Anna complains that she doesn't have enough money to join a gym, Natasha suggests she use the one-week free trial in all gyms in the town and do it for free. 
The next morning, Anna says her morning affirmations, drinks a glass of water, and goes to the gym for the first time in her life. She takes a while to get accustomed to the equipment and falls off the treadmill on several occasions. But all her hard work goes to waste because an hour later, she is at the restaurant eating for two. Natasha, who works in the restaurant, throws her food away, disappointed that she couldn't commit for more than two hours. She asks her friend to show some willpower. On returning home, Anna applies moisturizer all over her body and wraps it with a plastic wrap. She hopes that the trick will make her lose a few pounds while devouring a bag of chips. At midnight, she tries to steal food from the refrigerator but is caught by Natasha. The next day, she is determined to not eat anything unhealthy. This is especially difficult for her because she works in a bakery. While decorating a cake, she accidentally licks icing off her fingers and does 10 squats to make up for it. Throughout the day, food calls her name but she controls herself. At one point, she is left alone with an entire cake. She stares at it for several minutes trying to make up an excuse to eat it. After pacing around and almost breaking a shelf, she gives up and devours half of the cake at once. Anna realizes that she has a problem. She looks for a self-help group for people with a compulsive eating disorder and joins a meeting. Amidst the group of ladies is a single man named Kolya. Anna introduces herself as Angela and lies that she doesn't have an eating disorder. Instead, she claims to be a journalist who is writing a story on eating disorders. The group tries to reason with their condition, not accepting the fact that they have a problem. An infuriated Kolya points at each of them and calls them fat, including himself. He also says that it is obvious Anna lied about being a journalist because she doesn't want to accept she has a problem. Anna pretends to get a phone call and leaves the meeting, but Kolya follows her. He invites her to a nearby restaurant, and Anna goes only because she cannot say no to food. Kolya proposes they become each other's fitness sponsors. That way they have to exercise with each other daily, ask each other before eating anything, and provide emotional support throughout the process. Anna is unsure about Kolya's true intentions, but she sees no harm in trying. Starting the next day, they go to a park every morning to run. At first, Anna is reluctant to be with Kolya, but as time passes, she realizes that he is actually a nice person. He is not ashamed of what his body looks like, which is foreign to her. Spending time with him makes her love her body as well. They talk before every meal and are good at helping each other since they are going through the same problem. Soon, Anna starts to lose weight little by little. Her confidence wavers when she goes to pool parties and sees skinny girls looking gorgeous. Whenever she feels frustrated, Kolya helps her. They frequently scream on top of their lungs to relieve stress. Anna wants nothing but Yevgeny's validation which makes Kolya jealous. In one and a half months, she drops down 10 kilos and is ready to meet Yevgeny again. She buys a swimsuit and pretends to bump into him at a swimming pool. He works as an instructor and is stunned to see her. After chatting for a while, they get into the pool and start splashing water at each other. Everything goes well until the girl from the wedding arrives and introduces herself as Yevgeny's girlfriend. Anna is heartbroken for the second time. She parties and drinks all night to forget about him. The following morning, she wakes up naked in Kolya's bed. He assures her that he did not look at her naked. A flashback from the other night shows us that Anna was about to go home with a stranger, but Kolya arrived at the right time and took a punch in the face to save her. Following the strange morning, she goes to her mother's house and tells her everything. According to her mother, Anna has unresolved trauma from her father who left them when she was only a kid. Hence, she wants Yevgeny's validation even though he is not good to her. Anna understands what she means and goes to meet her father the very next day. She takes Kolya as her driver because the drive is five hours long. On their way, Kolya often tries to get closer to her, showing that he likes her but Anna is oblivious to his advances. They finally meet her father Sergei in a wooden house where he lives with a woman. Anna asks him why he didn't want to be involved in her life. Sergei, on the other hand, reminds her of the time he came to her birthday with a present but she flipped him off through the window. At night, Anna accidentally drops a candle and lights the wooden house on fire. Sergei yells at her for ruining his house, not caring about her safety. Anna and Kolya return home immediately after. Before separating, she kisses him on the nose. Kolya is on the top of the world on his ride home. He even trades his watch to buy flowers for her. Somewhere else, Yevgeny comes to meet Anna and apologizes to her. They end up making love after talking for a while. When Kolya returns with the flowers, he sees them and walks away disappointed. The next morning, Anna wakes up with Yevgeny who comments that she looks so much better than she did a month ago. This makes Anna realize that she doesn't want an uncertain relationship where she is always scared her partner will leave her. 
They get into an argument yet again, and Yevgeny walks away. That evening, she goes to Kolya's house, wanting to be with a friend. But Kolya is so furious that he gives her an apple and declares that their relationship as sponsors has ended now that she has lost weight. The next morning, she goes to Natasha's house, but no one opens the door. She uses the neighbor's window and a pipeline to dangerously get inside the house. It turns out that Natasha and her husband had a huge argument after which he left. The girls talk to each other and feel a lot better. The next day, Sergei comes to meet Anna again and apologizes for being a bad father. He also dances with her like he used to do when she was a kid. After the two reconcile, Anna goes to a fitness marathon to meet Kolya. She finds him drinking a cold drink and throws it away, asserting her dominance as a sponsor. She also declares that since he has not lost enough weight, it is her responsibility to help him no matter what. They take part in the marathon and complete it with all their might. In the end, Kolya gathers enough courage to kiss her. For the first time in her life, Anna realizes that obsessing about her appearance will not make her happy. True happiness lies in accepting yourself as you are, like Kolya did. He always worked hard to improve his health but was never ashamed of his appearance. Anna strives to be like him. So, what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.